What's going on guys? Blake Mullen here, Uncut Kitchen, you know the fucking drill. Today we're gonna make a jalapeno Kiev. Yeah, that's right. We're also gonna make some mashed potato with it and some crispy cow chips, all right? First things first, got some water over here. We're gonna boil our potatoes. Heat on. Just got four little fellas. Not gonna, gonna cut them up, because they're pretty small. So I just wanna chuck them in there. Salt it up. While we're waiting for that, because that will be a while, we can get uh, Kiev ready, all right? So some flour, two eggs, panko. So with the flour, though, I'm gonna put some Old Bay. Ooh, if you haven't had Old Bay. You haven't lived. All right, so. A teaspoon or two. I'm give that a little mix around. So it's got an even color. Lovely. And our egg wash. So we're gonna try and actually um, dunk it twice in the egg and the panko, all right? Get a big old crunch on the dog. Give it a whisk. Love. Lovely. So, that's our little area done. Now we can move on to making this compound butter. This is our chicken breast. I've just trimmed it down a little bit. So, get yourself a bowl, mate. Just had some butter sitting out for a little while. Still a bit too cold, but that's okay. Just let that sit over there. We'll chop up our stuff then. Got some spring onions here. Chop these up. We want the white and the green as well, okay? So we'll chop this right up. Holy fuck! This is very, very fresh. All right, so spring onion in. Now some parsley. Bunch it all up. And the same thing, just rough chop it. All right, chop the parsley in. Next up, you're cooking for someone else, and these are someone's jalapenos. Probably don't put your finger in and do that. But, uh, ah, oh, they're mine, I don't care. Just a decent amount, and just chop them up. Chop them right up. And then in. A little bit of garlic paste, just half a teaspoon in. Now we need to mix this all up. I know that, that butter's not that soft yet, so I might have to squeeze it myself with my two fucking hands. So, compound it up, turn it into one. And this is gonna be our stuffing for our chicken. So there you go. Sandwich sati, also good for holding drugs. So I'm gonna use that. I'm just gonna do it a little bit of time. And let's whack her in there. And there is our shitty piping bag. It's not gonna work as good, but it will work, okay? Now we're gonna bring back our little board here. Get our chicken on there. Slap! Just put it down, hold there. Just be careful not to break through and cut yourself. You'll feel the knife down there. That's pretty good. All right, so you get a little fucking <laughs> All right, while you guys are away, I found my piping bag a little bit on the end. So I thought I'd still see if I could use it. So I got my little pocket pussy down here. I made my fucking chicken. Because I've got this, this thing on now, we don't need a little cup. I can feel it filling up. Oh, she is full. That is done. Now, we can start putting it into our mix. So we've got our flour and our old spice. Cover it all, especially that end. Lovely. Anti-egg wash. Push it down, flip it over. Cover it all. Panko. Now I'm just gonna quickly wash my fingers here. Let's give it a little shake. Pick up that on the sides. Push it on top. Now remember, we're gonna double this one. Back into our egg wash. Flip it over. Then in to our panko again. And voila, there you go. Look at that, hey? Got a pan here, just shallow pan here, because we don't want to deep fry it. We just want to uh, base it with a spoon. Let's put our Kiev in there. Eh? Oh, that's big Bertha. Lay it away from yourself. Beautiful. Now you don't want that crazy hot, just that medium heat. Just want to be basing like this. Keeping it all as one. So just be gentle with it, give it a little flip. Get that even coat. Absolutely lovely, and back to your basing. My potatoes are ready. 
So I just want to strain these out. You can start making our mash soon. I just want to keep an eye on this guy. So just keep at it. Right, so we've got our potatoes here. Bottle straight into her. Bit more of that salt. Bit of cracked pepper. A little bit of garlic powder. And then we've got our milk there as well, okay? All right, just to mash it. Milk. Oh, that's smelling good. Right, no chunks at all. Leave that and check on that. Yeah, if you don't want to leave it there too long. Needs flipping. Oh, she is crunchy now. Have a look at that. Alrighty, heat off. There's a crunch on it. That is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So let that rest and we'll get our cowl in now. So, got our oil heating up here, it's starting to smoke, so we know it's hot. Let's check with one. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> Maybe a bit too hot. We're all good. Everyone calm down. Let's crisp these up, and then we'll season them, and then we'll serve them, okay? All right, get these guys out. Look at them. Onto a paper towel. Beautiful. I'm just gonna do some big ones too for um, fun. <laughs> Didn't they do it, but it was fun. All right. You know what, I'm gonna use these. They look way nice, those chips. Look at them. A little salt, a little bit of Cajun spice. Lovely, now let's serve up, shall we? Okay, ready to rock. We've got our beautiful mashed, mashed potato. Just gonna go like that. Like that. Voila! So, our chippies. Just like so. And then, two little fellas. A little salt over the top, and your own. There you have it, guys. Our jalapeno Kiev with creamy mashed potato and kale chips. Boom!